Well, hi everybody. And today, what well, we got a review here at Pigeon Forge. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet up with our friends, Chris and Mindy and Cashew Paul. And we are going to the local goat to do a food review. You ready, Don? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. So they got these locally made different types of, um, I guess, lotions made from goat's milk. Isn't that cool? They got vanilla, orchid, peppermint, honeysuckle. Got all these local goat t-shirts and swag. And, and here's their menu. They got fried green tomatoes. A deep fried deviled eggs. Ooh, that looks good too. Onion rings, steak nachos. Now the steak nachos are good. I've had those before. Those are awesome. I also have jumbo chicken wings. Yeah, traditional sriracha, whiskey glaze, and sticky glaze. Also got soups and salad. Mediterranean salad. Southern strawberry. I also got a house salad. The local goat uses locally grown and sustainable food whenever possible. Our beef is aged a minimum of 28 days, never frozen. Well, they have fish and chips and chicken tenders, a Hawaiian ribeye, seven ounce sirloin, boneless pork chops, they have grilled salmon, Here's their burgers here. They got the Patriot, um, Billy Burger. They got an Elvis Burger, peanut butter, smoked bacon, and fried banana. Oh, wow. Of course, I like the Tennessee Whiskey gla Glaze Burger for $13. Yep. And here's their sides. They have hand-cut fries. They have sweet potatoes, baked potato, seasonal veggies, steamed broccoli, Caramelized onion mashed potatoes. Huh. And then here's their desserts. Of course, we ordered water. Well, there's the fried green tomatoes. Also have the steak nachos and the deviled eggs. I love these steak nachos. They're they're awesome. Steak is so tender. And deviled eggs. What do you think about those deviled eggs? They're good. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Have you had one yet? <laughs> what do you think about those nachos? They're good. They are good. What about those deviled eggs? They were really good. Spicy. They're, they were spicy, yeah. So Dawn, you ordered the, what is this? The Mediterranean that looks really good. Mm -hmm. I changed my mind. Chris, what did you order? Uh, teriyaki steak kebabs. Teriyaki steak kebabs, wow. Okay, so I ordered the whiskey burger. Look at that. Now, I've had this before, and it is just really, really good. And it's hard to deter from this. I like the... Um, the roll that they use 
It's really, really good. Look at those shoestring fries. They're all piping hot and what have you. Of course, Denise, she she ordered the whiskey burger too, right? With, yeah. But with cheddar, right? And it looks like you ordered whiskey burger too, right? Pimento oh, pimento cheeseburger. Oh, it is pimento, pimento yeah. cheeseburger. And this here is the Elvis burger. It comes with a fried banana and bacon. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so I have no clue what Celtic sea salt is. It looks like, like, I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. It's called the chocolate peanut butter pie. Chocolate peanut butter pie. Huh? Looks good. Yeah, it does. What did what did you order for dessert? Crumb belay. It's got like a strawberry and a blackberry. Happy birthday. Is it your birthday? Nope. <laughs> I wonder who, who started that rumor. I was trying to get you a free dessert. I know. And this is what they they said. <laughs> This is our waitress, Jenny. She did an absolute wonderful job. If you come to the local goat, you must ask for Jenny. Okay, so we're back home now. Uh, what did you think about the local goat? The food was really good. Yeah, um, what was your favorite part? We tried the um, deep fried deviled eggs. Those were really good. I was shocked how good they were. Yeah, they were uh, very spicy actually. They had a lot of spice to them. Um, they're not like your normal uh, double egg, but then they deep fry them too, so that makes it uh, um, different. Also, we got to do, uh, my favorite is the, um, the steak nachos, right? Mm -hmm. And of course the steak is very, very tender. Um, the nachos are really good all the way around. And then we also had uh, fr uh, fried green tomatoes. I think Cashew Paul ordered those. And I didn't get one of those, so I don't know what they were I didn't like. Get them either. Yeah, so um, but other than that, other than appetizers, uh, we ordered water, um, and I ordered the whiskey burger, which is one of my favorite on that menu. It's hard for me even to get away from it. Uh, the burger is juicy. It's a big burger. You won't finish it all. I, I always take it home. Uh, what did you order, on? I ordered the chicken Caesar salad. Oh, it was so good. I think you've ordered that before. Didn't I paid that before, and it was good. Yeah. Uh, you know, really cool, the Elvis burger. That looked good, too. Mm -hmm. um, it had the banana and peanut, peanut butter. butter all and bacon. Honor. Yeah. And Chris ordered the, um, I think they were skewers or something. They, those were really they good, too. good, too. And that's probably more of a healthier uh, choice of that menu. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we didn't get a bill because uh, a friend of the channel saw us there, and they paid our tab, the whole tab, um, before we even got the bill. So we want to say thank you. Uh, they want to... Uh, remain anonymous but thank you thank you thank, thank you so much uh so we don't know what it cost all together but i'm guessing it was probably for all of us it was an upwards of about 150 dollars so um yeah anything else you want to say about the local go just really good food yeah now local go is located like almost across the street from uh the titanic so that's where you can find it on the on the pitch and forge strip um uh, Silver Bowl Theater, you, you know, all that was with, is in with a uh, walking range of the local goat. Um, yes, uh, the local goat is always busy, and it, the doors are, we waited, I think, uh, almost 35 minutes to be seated, and that is actually a really good time, so the food is that good. Like my grandfather always said, that if you're waiting to, if nobody waits in line to get terrible food. So it was really good, right? Right. Well, that's going to do it for this review here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And if you like this vlog, give, give it a thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming well Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.
Oh, oh. Ouch, my knees. I'm getting too old. <laughs> 